Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kayla and today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about stocks. Before I start, I did want to address my appearance. My skin is breaking out really bad, just with eczema, flare-ups, and like hives. So I don't have any makeup on today. I only have on mascara and I'm just wearing this little scarf. Forgive that, but I still wanted to get a video out this week. So this is this week's video. We're gonna be talking about stocks. I'm basically gonna explain how I personally was able to invest. I think a lot of people my age don't really think about this, but you'd actually be making more money if you do start investing earlier. And if you think about some of the things that a lot of celebrities have in common, they all have companies and businesses and side hustles, but they also have money invested in stock. Investing in stock is something that everyone can do. You can do it even earlier than 21. This was one of my new year's resolutions from last year. With stocks, you're making your money work for you. When I first wanted to start, because I would watch a lot of finance videos on YouTube. Graham Stephan YouTube videos and I was just like doing my research before I actually put in money to invest. So when I first started I went to my dad and my grandfather and just asked them a few questions because I know that they had invested in stock. There's not a lot of women discussing finances on YouTube so ladies like we need to get on this. If you best invest earlier, you're gonna get more return on your money if your stocks do well. A lot of the reasons that I hear for people not wanting to invest in stock is that they're afraid that they're gonna lose money. They don't know like the terminology, they don't know where to start, they don't know what programs to use, they don't know what stock to invest in, and also like they have no experience in the stock market. When I went into investing, I had no experience in the stock market, and what I did was I went to people in my family who I know were had some a good amount of money in stock, and I asked them, hey, how do you do this? Most people, most adults have money invested in stock, but through the companies that they work for. 401k investments are a lot of the time through the stock market of the company that you're working for. Not a lot of people individually invest in stocks, which is something that I wanted to start doing because I also had 401k investments when I was working with Bloomingdale. I had money from that as well, but I also wanted to invest individual stocks that I could pick for myself that I think would do well in the future and stocks that are kind of on the come up now. The app that I use for my stock investments is M1. It's a really easy app. You can access it on your computer as well as your smartphone. My dad actually showed me this app. I honestly recommend it as a good beginner's app. Also Acorns, there's a few other ones that you can do your research on. M1, there's no annual fee and you don't have to pay any fees to use the app, which is something that I really liked about it. And it's also relatively pretty easy to use. Their customer service is really great. I had a 401k with a company that I was working with, Bloomingdale's, like I said. I actually transferred over that 401k money into a Roth IRA through M1. And that's when I had to use their customer service, whatever, get on the phone with them because I actually had to mail my 401k information and other documents to a certain address so that they could process it into a Roth IRA funds account. And they were just really helpful in helping me figure that out through their website and through customer service. So that's also something that I really like. They were not rude. It was just so easy going into investing. You don't want to sound dumb over the phone. When I called and when I inquired about everything, I was able to ask them multiple questions. They're probably like, why is this girl asking this? But never hurts to ask questions. And they were just really nice about it and explained everything to me in detail. I was able to mail them those documents and they were able to get that Roth IRA started for me. The formatting on your computer is very similar to the formatting on your phone, which I also really like because if I want to do a transfer, I can do that on my computer as well. When you go into the M1 app, they also have kind of like a security system. So they use your fingerprint and then you also get a pen before you're able to gain access into your funds. I started with $100 in 2019. I I first put $100 on there and in talking to my dad, he said that he would match whatever I put in. Or he said he would match like $100. I'm pretty sure it's just $100. So I put in $100 and then with my dad matching that was $200. That's just me getting started. Now I have over $1,000 in that stock account. And I also have my Roth IRA separate on M1 and that's all been within a year. Deciding how much money to put in, you can honestly, the minimum amount on M1 is $10. So you can put in $10 and that can be your starting point. You can put in $20. At one point when I was working, I was just putting in $20. Once I started getting into more minim minimalism, I started throwing away a lot more stuff. I started not buying as much clothes. Last year, I cut back on my shopping so much and I saved so much money because I 
realized that I didn't need it. A lot of the stuff in my closet I wasn't wearing to like its potential, you know, and they say that you can use one outfit and mix it up different ways. I had tons of things in my closet, like these little scarves, how I just made it a cute little headscarf because I didn't feel like doing my hair. Just sitting in my closet and there's so many different ways that these pieces and items and accessories could have been used and I was using them one way and then I would go and buy something else when I could have just revamped something already in my closet to get that same exact look. Taking advantage of the pieces that I already had, I stopped shopping a lot. And that way I was able to invest more money in my accounts and also just things that I didn't need. Like I really took inventory of what I had. Every time I would go to purchase something, I'm like, do I already have this? And most of the time I did or I had something similar. Do I have a brown lipstick? No, but I have a nude lipstick and a brown lip liner and I can like, you know, work with what I got. The entire year I've really been working with what I got and I did go on a vacation and I bought a bunch of stuff for that. I went on a few trips and I bought clothes for those trips, spent money on experiences, but honestly I cut back my shopping a lot and I cut back my eating out a lot. I just started realizing that I really had everything that I need and wanted. When I was getting these paychecks for my job, in college I worked at Kate Spade. I've had a bunch of jobs, but my most recent job was Kate Spade and I was working part time. Sometimes I would babysit so I get a huge extra paycheck from that. Sometimes I dog sit so I get an extra paycheck from that and that's just really easy money for me. And all of that would just either go straight into my savings account or straight into my stock investment fund. I was doing 20% each paycheck and if there was nothing that I really wanted to buy and if there was no expense coming up or no trip that I was going on, I would do even more. But 20% always went into my savings and then I would gradually put money into my separate stocks account what stock should you invest in and this is basically all up to you like i said it's super easy we have so much access now because of the internet just look up what types of stocks to invest in for my age what types of stocks to invest in for my blah 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 whatever you're interested in i heard someone say that if you invest in companies that you spend money with or things that you use a lot you won't feel as bad when you're using it because you own part of the company you own such a little amount but you own part of the company i try to invest in companies where i see potential netflix Netflix, for example, pretty sure their stock's down right now. Also, and when you can keep track of stock market on there too, like there's so many, they have articles, blog posts, everything on there, not sponsored by M1. Netflix, I have been seeing like a lot of celebrities do documentaries on there. So you have the Travis Scott documentary, you have the Beyonce homecoming, and a lot of people are interested in seeing that. As I've seen Netflix do more of that and just introduce better shows, more people talking about it, you always see people's Instagram posts like Netflix suggestions, more and more people hopping on the wave. I just feel like in the next few years, Netflix Netflix is gonna be on a come up. I could be wrong. Like I said, their stock has been down for a while now, but I do think they're gonna be on the rise. That's also another thing. Your investments, you have to be patient. patient. You have to be patient with them. In the past year, I haven't made that much money, but you have to think of it in terms of five to 10 years from now. I try to think of it when I'm my mom's age, when I have kids. Ooh, the money's gonna be rolling in. But you never know, because the stock market goes up and down, but try not to think, I try not to think of it in short-term fluxes because you really can't gauge based off of that. If anything, give it five years to see how much you make with the stock. You can also do trades on M1. I try not to trade, because like I said, investing in stock is all about being patient and doing your research. So even though my stocks might've been down for a while, if I still see potential, I don't really do lots of trades. Another company that I have invested in is AbbVie. So I did my research and they are also coming out with CBD formulas, different things with marijuana, which is something that I also wanted to invest in because I know that's kind of all up on the come up. AbbVie kind of mixed science-y stuff and like pharmaceuticals with the marijuana, in marijuana industry. Enphase is a solar company that's also on the come up if you think of teslas electric cars being just more sustainable in general and in phase has been growing um pretty steadily then i have money invested in chipotle starbucks walmart disney tesla i have quite a few companies i try to make my index 15 to 20 so you get a good mix of everything if something goes down it's most likely that another part of your index fund or your dividends will go up as i've had my account i just continue to do more research i watch a lot of videos on youtube about investing in property investing in stocks and just financial literacy i think is super important and something that's not taught in school and it can make you like so much more powerful for me money equals power money is powerful if you have a lot of money you can get a lot of things done so i see money as power so i don't feel sad every time i deposit 200 300 into my stock account because i feel really good i didn't go spend that on chipotle or clothes or something that's gonna not 
not give me any return in life. I'm investing in myself, in my future, in my bank account. I do also have a savings account with stocks is a little bit better because if you choose the stocks that you invest in wisely you're gonna get a return on your money versus savings you're not i do think having a savings account is important in case you have emergencies credit card debt gives me a lot of anxiety yes you can have a credit card but then if you don't pay it off like consistently you're gonna get that high interest rate so having a savings account save your car breaks down or something if your car breaks down you have money to fix that from your savings you don't have to put it on a line of credit the same with stocks if you wanted to take money out of that you can transfer it to your bank account within a day but i do like to have a little bit of money in my savings just in case i feel weird when i pull money out of my stock accounts i've never pulled money out of my stock accounts i have two savings accounts one for vacations and then one just for like random savings so saving is great but it cannot give you a return on your money stocks can but you're taking a risk for me that risk has worked out pretty well i have lost money i gained more in the end of the year so it kind of balances it's itself out i also did want to mention there are some stocks that aren't in the primary stock market for example louis and asos but those are not in the primary stock market so they're not on n1 you kind of have to do your research and figure that out too so thank you guys for watching. That is a quick summary of how I was able to invest in my 20s. If you have any questions for me, leave a comment down below and I will make sure to get back to you. I hope you guys are able to take advantage of the stock market for yourselves and invest some money too. And if you do, let me know. My Instagram, my Poshmark, everything will be linked in the description for you guys and have a great week. Bye.